ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk, brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the required area. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards, this will facilitate the process. Insert a flatted screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, unscrew the upper caliper mounting bolt. Sometimes you have to stop the lock nut from turning by holding it with your fingers or with a 15mm spanner. You can use a hammer to help you. Do the same with the lower caliper mounting bolt. Remove the caliper. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils of the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. Change the noise dampening shims if you have decided to replace them. Using an 80mm spanner, unscrew the holding screws on the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. To save time, finish taking them off using a socket wrench. Take off the brake caliper mount. Using a T40 torque socket, undo the two screws that hold the disc. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Clean the hub with a wire brush, and once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Please support us. Subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Take the new brake rotor. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the pads run. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand, and finish off with a socket wrench and an 18mm socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. To lock the disc, insert a thin flatted screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Using a Torx 40-bit, secure the two screws holding the disc. 
withdraw the screwdriver. Take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. Detach the caliper. You can now put it back and reassemble the caliper mounting bolts. Don't forget to use the new screws that come with the pack as they have been pre-coated with red locking fluid. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.